I got a question here. So a few actually from uh, some of our viewers. Zul Fayuz says Chelsea's defence in the spotlight of late. With a lot of goals conceded regardless of the result, you guys think they need a new defence and a keeper if they want to compete for the title. I should add, these came in before the result today as well. So I think it's just adding extra fuel to the fire. Frank should start building at the back because they've been conceding goals for fun. And uh, Shas says uh, Chelsea are going the next season quite strong in terms of attacking midfield options. Should they also strengthen the defence with an experienced centre-back in order to secure the title next season? And we've already seen them make some acquisitions. Again, more attacking players. So Gus, for you, looking at Chelsea, mm. how much money do you think Frank's going to have to spend? How many players is he going to have to bring in? And in what position specifically do you think needs to be worked on at Chelsea Football Club? Well, there, there are many, too many rumours about uh, the left-back position. Many, you know. Uh, even both left-back may be leaving in the summer, which it would be something unusual and, and probably something to look at. Then it will depend on, on what, how he feels, because the, the main thing here is that we don't know is what Frank Lampard wants uh, he team, uh, you know, he teams to perform on the pitch. If he's going with this mentality that he looks from the outside, that we're going to score one more goal than the position. Then he will try to keep buying offensive players and trying to go in that way. Or if he thinks, well, we need to close a little bit down. We need to be a little bit more practical. And we're going to you know, go and find one of these special defenders that is going to bring security, like we can put again, sorry, Van Dijk at Liverpool. You know, you go and you spend your money in a special player that is going to bring some leadership at the back as well. But that's the, the best person to ask is Frank. I'm sure he cannot say it now. I don't know if he's going to be able to say it publicly, but probably in his mind he's already thinking about that. Because, yeah. sorry, Gary, go on. Um, I was going to say, personally, I think that uh, where Chelsea solved their problem defensively is on the training park. I believe that Kepa, the keeper, is good enough. I believe that they've got enough quality in the likes of Christensen, Zuma, Rudiger, um, Aspilicueta, I, and Reese James as well. I think they've got enough quality there, but they don't look as if they're particularly well practiced and drilled. So I think it's the training park where they uh, sort that problem out. Yes, they're talking about maybe Declan Rice joining from West Ham, but to be a central defender as opposed to um, a midfield player. Also, you know, as a defender, what you need is you need protection in front of you as well. Um, and I'm just wondering if Chelsea offer enough protection just in front of that back four at the moment. And I tend to say, no, they don't. Interesting. Well, let me throw in a name for you then, Gus. Yep. Chilwell. Would he improve Chelsea? Sorry, who? Uh, ben Chilwell at Leicester, the left back. Number two. Uh, going forward, yes. <laughs> going forward, yes. Uh, defensive, yeah, defensively. I, I think what Gary is uh, saying is, is true. I mean, we are all different. That's a good thing about football. We all train in a different way. We all think in a different way. Uh, for example, myself, even if I like my team to treat the, the football, the ball very well and pay attention and try to create superiority to attack, blah, 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 blah. I start my team from the back. And I make sure that first, we are organized, we tight, we make it difficult for the position. We care about not conceding. You know, like a, our goal is our house. You know, like they cannot get in there. We are not going to let them. Everybody will fight, stop the opposition to score there. And then we will play as well. But sometimes we, we try to split, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. he's an offensive manager. He's a defensive manager. And there is nothing in between. No, there is. You know, the best teams in the world, they defend very well and also attack as well. So it's, it's to have the balance right. And I think that's what I would like to see Chelsea next year. A better balance in that play. A better, more practical sometimes. A better... You know, one nil. Why not? The best teams in the world, they win championships winning one nil when you are not in a good day. Today, today was a day for Chelsea to say, OK, we are not in a good day, gentlemen. Let's make sure that we are solid. We've got enough players up front to score a goal. And we win one nil, not for three, because it's not going to happen all the time. So I will, I will start for that position that Gary was saying, maybe to have a, a better organization in terms of uh, defending. 
if it's what Frank wants, yeah, with all the respect to him, mm -hmm. he's him the one deciding but, at the end. Okay, shouldn't it be what he wants though? This is a this is a manager who played with some of Chelsea's best ever defenders. I mean, John Terry's name is the first one that pops to my mind. He had one of Chelsea's greatest goalkeepers at the back in the form of Petr Cech. Uh, surely, if anybody would understand the importance of a solid spine, a solid defense, it would be Frank Lampard. I mean, even for yourself, you think of Desai, you think of Leboeuf, you think really good defenders. I mean, World Cup winning defenders at the end of the day. Look, I, I, I'm not going to take in Zuma, eh? because he's a very strong defender and in his day, I mean, without going too far, the tackle the other day against Crystal Palace in the last minute, you know, like, it's not many, many players that they can do that action. But it, today was static. But it was static in everything. Even in the last goal, which everybody will remember because of Rudiger not being able to kick the ball away, he doesn't even try to stop the cross. He's coming, running, like, okay, I'm in front of the friend. Okay, he crossed. He didn't even stretch himself. He didn't even have to stop. It was like it was in one of the days that you're not feeling well, you know, you, that you are not there, concentrate enough to stop the opposition from scoring. And sometimes I say in football, one player, a team can carry in a game. Two players, it starts becoming difficult. More than two, you cannot carry two or three players having a bad day because the opposition plays. And if you play against a team like Sheffield United nowadays, you're going to lose. Okay, not 3 nil, but you know, probably you're going to lose. And that's what happened to Chelsea today. There were too many that they were not at the level that you need to be uh, to win football games. Well, Zuma today, I was reading, he's linked to, to join Tottenham. So basically doing what Gus Poyet did way back around, I think it was uh, 2000, 2001 when you joined Tottenham. Yes. Well, that, that's more Mourinho, no? Mourinho's absolutely love him, uh, we have to say. He was the one important. He even playing, if you remember, as a centre midfielder, which was a surprise for me as well. But OK, they see me. You know, what I said before, we are all different. Uh, you know, some people prefer this type of defender, some people prefer another one. Me, I had Marcos Alonso with me at Sunderland. Um, Marcos, going forward, you have to say little. Now, going back, you need to be on top of him. Daily. Daily. That's what Gary says. That's the most important thing. Daily. The Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday in training. Then to get to the game in the best way. And it doesn't happen in one week. You need maybe three months to put in the head of a player who is very offensive that there is other responsibility first that he needs to do. Yeah, okay. And he can do it because he done it for me. So All right. it's, it's, it's important.